Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in the day when artificial intelligence started becoming a thing, Google's AI chatbot was first named and called BARD. And obviously, when we looked at Microsoft, that was called Bing Chat, which is now Copilot. And then Google then changed from BARD to Gemini. So if you ever wondered why Google uh, changed their chatbot from BARD AI to Gemini AI, then just a quick video to let you know, according to Google, how Google's AI model Gemini got its name. Now, this is according to a keyword blog post, which I'll leave down below in the description if you'd like to read the whole thing. But basically, the long and the short of it, and um, the story behind the name is early on, Google said a placeholder title for the project was Titan. That's um, the name of Saturn's largest moon. And a lot of the story behind Gemini's name is grounded in space, according to uh, this announcement and this keyword blog post by Google. Now, Gemini apparently is Latin for twins in astronomy, and it's the name of a constellation associated with Greek mythology, according to Google. And basically, um, Google has said that the Gemini effort came about because um, they wanted to bring their teams working on language modeling closer together. And Google has said that they felt the twins aspect of the name, Gemini, was a great fit. And the twins, um, yeah, in this case, regarding uh, Google Gemini, are the folks in the legacy brain team at Google and the legacy deep mind team, who Google says started to work together on this ambitious multimodal uh, model project, i.e. that's where the twins aspect of the name Gemini, they said, was a great fit. Now, the other inspiration for the name um, is also space-related. And... As many of you may know, NASA's early uh, moonshot program, Project Gemini, lasted from 1965 to 1968. And Google says because of this, uh, Project Gemini's significance to the success of the Apollo program resonated with the team. And that's why the name Gemini stuck. And apparently they were immediately sold on the name because the momental effort of training LLMs, large language models, resonated with um, the so-called spirit of launching rockets, according to Google, quote unquote. And they also say it was very fitting to name the most ambitious project they have ever embarked on as Gemini. So that's the long and the short of it. That's why, according to Google, they changed BARD AR to Gemini AR. And from a personal point of view, I personally like the name BARD. I just think it's got a bit of a more personal ringtone to it and makes things feel a little bit more personal. Um, now that we know this one's a little bit in outer space and BARD to me just feels like it's a little bit more personal. But nonetheless, that's the story behind how BARD became Gemini. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.